Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Plush Central's Panel of the People. Please join me and my friend Ellie in welcoming today's panelists. Are you okay, Lauren? Honestly, no. We're discussing a very controversial topic, and I'm nervous to see how our viewers will react to it. It'll be okay, Lauren. I think everyone here is ready to talk so Um, we're live here, guys. You try doing this every week, buddy. Our panelists today are Hammy, Anna, Portrup, and Cream Winston here to discuss something Flush Central has been dying to know for years. What is the pig conspiracy theory? <sighs> to be fair, before we even answer this question, it's something we've been dealing with for quite some time. Um, I don't know exactly how long since I've been here, I would say, really? It started to rise when more of us got here, poor chap. Yeah, the basis of this theory is that we pigs, us pigs, are secretly running the government, the plus central government to be exact, and it's very untrue in every way. Why don't we just break it down before we express our opinions, Anna? People want to know why it's a theory in the first place. Thank you, Prim. It's a lot less stressful on me when I have to say to any of our panelists to watch their opinions. <sighs> I guess you're both right. I agree. From what I've gathered from being here, this whole... Big conspiracy theory started when more people in our family made it here before we even called ourselves Plus Central. Yeah, Webkin's world was certainly an interesting place, poor chap. Uh, like our past panelists on the show have said, we used to be all about colonialization and being in control. I'm still wondering where this theory arose in the first place. Same here, Prim. I think all of our viewers are wondering the exact same thing. I was the first to arrive here before my mama did, and once she came here, people started believing we pigs were influencing our government from behind the scenes. The pig conspiracy theory is a bunch of baloney! Do not believe any of the garbage the people tell you! Oh my. Petunia, can you please hold off until the end of our show? Didn't we talk about this before? I knew this was going to happen. Eh, fine. Out of your way! Um, where were we? Hammy was talking about the theory arriving from our history. Yeah, that's what sets Mama off all the time. People used to ask her questions about the government, after she began to establish her clash, and she was not having it at all. And then I came along, and it just got worse. How much worse, Anna? I may regret asking that. I was so little, but I do remember people barging into class, and even our classmates asking her about the president in charge. We just kept coming naturally as a family, you know, and the rumors just kept going on and spreading. It probably doesn't help that we basically run half the businesses that make up our society today. I mean, we've got Petunia's Classroom, we've got my very own MasterChef Fancy and Fast Food Restaurant, and we even have the National Church of Piggies! I'm sure our viewers would like to know more about your religious beliefs and how they may play a role in this theory. To sum it up in easy terms, the basis of our religion, Piggies, is the belief that we were brought together by a god or supernatural being we call Ham. Because Ham is so smart and sophisticated, much like our own Ham in Plus Central, the theory came about that Ham would control more than just the pigs and either be prophesized to bring Plus Central to a better place or simply annihilate it altogether. So what Lauren and I have gathered so far is that the theory only rose up because you guys grew in numbers? Well, it's not just that, Ellie. 
we did work with the government to make Plus Central, or what we call Webkin's World, the way it was. That part is true. However, the theory also states that the pigs are prophesied to destroy Plus Central and make our own society. It's a light to the story we tell in our worship called uh, Pork Chop's Big Adventure. It's the story of how a broken, civilized, dystopian society came back together to the main union because of one citizen named Porkchop who wanted a change. We only tell the story during worship to avoid the media jazzing it up. It's a very wonderful story, though. We all love it. Especially me. I love the whole everything about it, really. It makes us feel like we're meant to be the way we are for a reason, and I love this story, too. Very interesting, Anna. We're going to take a short PSA break and hear words from our sponsors. We'll be right back to continue our discussion. Okay, buddy, what do you think of the pig conspiracy theory? I think it's a wonderful theory. It makes a lot of sense. It, what? <laughs> now, what do you think of the pig conspiracy theory? Pumpkin Spice. Oh, hello there. I'm Louise Swirls, Lauren Swirls' cousin. I'm here to offer you guys a free, uh, what do we call it? I just said it. Ugh. Oh, here we offer you guys a free pumpkin spice break after our show. And please feel free to drop your opinions box in our uh, email box. Blah! Forgot my lines again. Lauren, we need to write a better script for me. Welcome back to this very interesting episode of Plush Central's Panel of the People. More like Panel of the Pigs. We left off with the Winston family discussing their form of religion as a way to debunk the infamous conspiracy theory. I do see why people are making up these myths about us since we have contributed to every level of Plus Central as we can. But we've been letting everybody else try to do the same thing. It's a very silly theory, since we're intelligent beings, but we don't want to control at all. Maybe in the plush first we do, and other infinite realities, but this isn't infinite realities. This is one single reality. This is the plush central. Um, I thought we were supposed to be more candid about this topic, Prim. After all, if we just come on this show to hate on the pig conspiracy theory, it doesn't make us look any better. Um, I'm kind of with Prim on this one, Hammy. This theory does seem very silly. I would like to know who exactly came up with it in the very first place. Well, Anna, we don't have that information in our files, do we, Allie? Not that I'm aware of. I mean, yes, I did some research on this issue. However, the person who created it seems to have no presence anywhere. Maybe it doesn't matter who created it or who joined in on the conversation. What do you all think? Well, Mom had her theories. She always had them about who was responsible for it. I don't think it matters, though, unless this person either had a bad history with us or just sees a single story. Hmm. A single story? Could you please elaborate on that, Prim? I'm sure I, as much as all of us here and our viewers, would love to know this whole idea of a single story. Yeah, I guess the lesson we can learn from all this is and the theory is just don't judge a book by its cover and get to know people for more than just one single experience. It's certainly something we can all learn. Yes, I was the first one to shed on presidential soil, and I've seen it all go down. I guess I was wrong about how I thought this episode was going to go, Ellie. How did you think it was going to go? I just thought this would turn into a giant mess, which it hasn't. But we're not done yet. Eek! Don't say things like that! I think the only issue we've had was Mehmet coming in randomly that one time, but I don't think she'll come back again. I wanna know who did it! Fess up, people! Who made the Gaston Pig conspiracy theory? You guys had to ruin it! If you'll excuse me, I need to have my pumpkin spice break. I guess that means it's the end of our show. Please feel free to drop your comments off in our email box and tune in to another episode of Plus Central's Panel of the People with a new set of panelists and a new question as always. Someone please get Petunia out of here. 
Listen, Bob, this is Fuss Central's panel of the freaking people. I can say what I want on TV. I know my rights.